Virgo, Gemini, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Gemini. Okay, so let me clear the energy really quick. Okay, Gemini, you know, feel something. You have some kind of energy around you that it's like maybe you feel like you have a negative energy around you or something, or you feel like something, something that you're going to clear out. You're clearing out something here. You have the high priestess here. Huh. Okay, you have the seven of wands and then you have the two of cups. It's like you may feel like love has been working against you. Like, uh, you know, people are trying to work against you in love. And there's some kind of difficulty with that. Yeah, it's like the Strength card and the Three of Swords now. So it's like, okay, you have the Sun, you have the Ace of Wands. Like, this is going to work out. This is going to be okay. But there is something here where it's like you're fighting an uphill battle. People are against you. You may feel like you've had a spiritual block. And it's blocking your love. You may feel like you have somebody who's trying to do things against you. Do some kind of spell work or some, you know, crap like that against you to stop you from having love. This could be a past person that you were with or someone that you worked with. There's somebody jealous of you. They wanted you to be with their son. They wanted you to be with their daughter or they're jealous of you. There's something here like that. Look at this. I'm telling you here, there's somebody here that's trying to create problems um look you have the eight of <laughs> of cups here and then you have the hermit so this is like somebody here who wants to keep you stuck they want to keep you in this pattern going and going and going and going and going they want to keep you where it's like okay you had to walk away then you retreat to yourself and then you have to defend this and you keep thinking about this here that's what this person wants we're going to clarify about this um this could have been a past when you were with a virgo person doesn't have to be look at this it was not equal it was not equal six of of pentacles is not good that's not you know yeah it's like this person you know they you could have never married them here but you have the wheel of fortune here so you're breaking out of this with the fool yeah and you have the star so you have universal protection you're going to heal from this this is going to be broken we're going to clarify this because somebody is trying to get in the middle of you and somebody else and this is literally a person who is causing drama it may feel like your person's friends you know they everybody has that one friend that it's like should you be friends with this person they've been friends with this person for how long how many times this person has tried to betray them you know it's it's how many times has it been in movies you know every good hearted character there's always that one friend you know and uh this is not it's not gonna work they're not gonna come between you and this person that's not gonna happen um number one because you know because you have the seven sevens here you know double seven is like a fear that's not real <laughs> So it's like someone is trying to do this. For some of you, it's like somebody may know somebody in another country and they're paying this person to do some kind of spell work or something to keep you from somebody else and they use the full moon to do it. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Because it's like, yeah, you see how in this, this deck, usually it's an eclipse, but this deck you have the full moon and this person is walking away, walking away, walking away. So it's like for some of you... It's like, you just feel like you're in this never ending cycle here of disappointments here, but it's like Empress is here. You have the 10 of, look at you have the Fool again, again. So this is like nothing, no one can stop this new beginning. <laughs> you know, like this person is not above God. <laughs> they're not above the universe. They're not above the angels, whatever um, deity or, you know, the divine being you uh, identify with, you know they're not above that they're just they're not look at this <laughs> yeah the page of swords the nine of swords and the three of cups this is someone here who's watching who's trying to create this never-ending nightmare for you that's what i just said this could be a person in your friend group in the mutual friend group that you have and they're trying to say things behind your back to make other people they're trying to do it in a sly way to make you look less desirable and them look more desirable that's that's something that a person is doing. A person doesn't want something to go well for you. 
That's what it is. And, okay. Let's see about this here. Um, you may have heard from other sources about this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Drama, 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 drama. This person thrives off the drama. Every time you talk to them, they have a new dramatic story for you. Um, they put people down a lot. They will tell you somebody's. It's like right when you met this person, they were telling you somebody else's really personal information, you know, just like that. And they're telling you what this person did to them, what this person did to them. You know, it's like right away there's drama. This could be somebody that you work with too. But there's just a person here who's refusing to heal, refusing to look at anything they need to look at. And screw this. Let's clarify. I want to see the Seven of Swords. I want to understand the Seven of Swords. Okay, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is your work. For some of you, this person is jealous of you. They don't like that you're focusing. You're getting results. You know, they see that you're gaining momentum. That there's like projected success here that you're going to be reaching. This person doesn't like that. You know, because you have Eight Eight, and Eight Eight is money. <laughs> it's money, and it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's stability. It's having a well to be able because it's like now your life got significantly better after you got away from this person, and it continues to get significantly better. And you only shout out positivity and love for everybody else, and you just shift away from this energy of this person, so people can see crystal clear that this person is the problem. They were the problem all along, not you. <laughs> And you weren't like trying to point fingers or anything. You were just trying to improve your own life. You were just trying to move on. And you're finally doing that here. So this is someone that, you know, they don't like your success. They can see that you can do better than them. And so they don't like that. But this is the, you know, we want to see everyone win and everyone can learn and can grow and can develop and can be who they are and uh, rise up. And this person has refused to do that. You have the two of cups here. <laughs> so there is something here that is your destiny. It's your destiny to have this new beginning here because you have the two of cups twice. So this is something where you're destined to have an equal partnership. And this is because you within yourself, you have become into alignment with you and your higher being. You know, you don't get the two of cups unless you're willing to do the work to be balanced within you, within the harmony of the energy of your soul and this physical being, your actions being in alignment with who you really are. And this person refuses to look at that. And I feel like they probably had experienced a lot of trauma, but that's their business to work through. It's not your business to work through. And you're going to move forward past this here. So it's like now you have the hermit again <laughs> with the sun here. So it's like we keep getting the same cards. This is like, okay, yeah, you did the work within yourself. So that's what this is uh, is talking about here. You going within, you doing the work that you needed to do. And so now you are seeing that reflection in your 3D reality. You're seeing this change. So if you're not seeing it yet, you're going to be seeing it very soon. This could be a Virgo person. This could be a Leo person. This could be a Capricorn person. Yeah, it's like there is clarity on who this person is, you know. This devil energy, there's going to be some clarity. There's going to be some light that is going to be shined on to something here that's not going to be known. It's going to be understood. People are going to speak of this. It's like somebody else is going to speak to this. You're not going to have to speak to this. You're not going to have to defend yourself. You're just going to be off focusing on your own successes and they're going to continue to amplify. And this other situation, spirit is going to take care of that. Spirit's going to handle that for you. You don't need to worry about that. Um, and it's like this next relationship that you have coming in is a person who would stand up for you, who would protect you, who is going to assume goodwill. They're not going to go around trying to get in all these fights, being all crazy possessive or anything like that. But this is a person who is going to come and talk to you. That's the difference about this relationship that you're going into now. Because like before you make a decision about doing something, you're checking with your inner being, right? 
Is this in alignment with what I'm doing? Okay, then I'm going to go for it. When it comes to relationships, friendships, um, family, when it comes to work, when it comes to anything that you do through the days of your life that you're alive. You know, and because you're doing that, you're going to attract a person who you and this person are going to come together and you're going to make these decisions together as a couple because that's the kind of trust that you're building. Because when you trust yourself, you know yourself and you trust yourself, you're going to attract a person that knows themselves and trusts themselves. So two people standing in their own truths, coming together, falling in love, that's very powerful. That's a very powerful connection. That's way more powerful than anything else. Anything else. So that's the thing is that this, whatever this person was trying to do, if they even were trying to do any kind of spell work or anything like that, it's not going to work. <laughs> that doesn't work. That only works if they did it to someone who's trying to do it back to them. That, that kind of stuff only works when you you know, act in this kind of um, way of wanting, wanting, you know, negativity for others. If you don't want negativity for others, when you love yourself and you're focused on the, the beauty of your life, it's like that can't, it just can't happen. That's the thing here. And that's what this is talking about here on the death card because, you know, you have a king down here, you know. His crown has fallen off and death says death comes for everyone. You know, no one can escape death. Oh, you're a king? Sorry, you're out of here. This guy's a priest. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just here praying. Um, I know you know me all these years. Death, what's up? Death's like, no, you don't get to escape death either. <laughs> that's not how this works. You know, you're not above the divine. And that's the lesson that this person has to realize is because they had someone treat them like they were an authority and they were putting them down, putting them down, putting them down. And then they finally got to an age where they're like, okay, I guess I get to be the authority now and put somebody down, put somebody down, put somebody down. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And this person, that's gonna give them an increased opportunity to heal, but they need to do that. That's their own business, not your business, right? That's between them and God and the angels and all that, you know, that's not. So, Let's see, Wheel of Fortune. You know, this is a, a whole transition here. So this is like this new relationship here. It's not going to be like anything that you've experienced before. Could be the water sign because you have Scorpio here. Now you have, oh, Cancer. I didn't even see the High Priestess under the chariot. Yeah, this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be, could be. You know, you know something is meant for you. You know there's a new direction meant for you. There's a change meant for you. And you're you're rushing towards this change for you. And this is increased abundance in you. It's your time now to have this abundance. It's time now for you to have this prosperity. It's time now for you to have this love that you can trust, that you can build on, that's going the same direction that you're going. It's not slowing you down. They're just gaining momentum with you. You know, they're right there with you here. So... Let's see the full, huh? Mm -hmm. Did I say increase abundance? Yeah. Did I say somebody that you can build with? Yeah. Let's see the star. Yeah, the eight of cups here. This is too many cards. Yeah, the hangman. There's something here that you realize after walking away. After you walked away from something, there's a realization that you're like, okay, I'm gonna walk, I'm not gonna put that much energy into this anymore. I'm not putting energy into this. I want to shift it another way here. There's a lot of happiness for you in that. For some of you, that's like work. That's like a work success here that's gonna happen. Yeah, you have the five of swords and then you have the star. You know what? Uh, there was a lot of things that was not, which the star is clarifying the star. How beautiful. Wow. It's really your time. It's really your time here. This is going to be a dream come true for you. 
a real, real dream come true. For some of you, there is an idea that you've had for a long, long time. During all this struggle, you had an idea for a long, long time. Business idea, career idea, something. And now you're going to work on that idea. You've already started. You're going to start soon. Something like that. You're going to be reminded of this idea. Okay, because it's like, okay, all of that hardship that you went through wasn't for nothing here because you're going to do something with it. You're going to do something really amazing with it. Um, it's going to be very successful here. So it's like you're trying to make a decision here. It's like saying go towards this new idea, you know, go for this here. Uh, invest in yourself. Always bet on yourself. Let's see about this new person, huh? Leo got the swan too. Could be a Leo. And I shuffle like crazy. So the swan. Psychic connection definitely. Water sign possibility could be a uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. This is someone that you have a connection with. You may have a vision of this person. You may have deja vu right before you meet this person, run into this person again, something like that. There is something here that you see in a movie. I feel like it's a romantic movie. You see something in a movie, you take mental note of this. You're thinking about this a lot. And then something like it happens to you, you meet this person. There's a funny connection to this in the movie that you're thinking of. Um, but this is about intense, you know, some of you are, you know, you could be psychic, you could uh, do divination work in some capacity or be a healer. And this is going to increase, it's going to amplify here. But there, there's a, a huge change here where you're realizing that, you know, your world, your outside world is nothing more than a reflection of within you. <laughs> and you're really powerful. And you're about to unlock this power that you have. And you never did. You always used all your energy to help other people. And now your energy is going to be used towards you. And so a lot of people are going to be in shock. Big time. You and this person mirror each other. So this like very interesting connection that you have with this person. You feel like they mirror you. You mirror them. You're thinking something and they say it. They're thinking something and they say it. You may feel like you and this person have crossed paths like a million times. There's so many different ways that you could have met this person, but you haven't met them yet. Or, you know, you have nothing has happened between the two of you yet. Wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom. Yeah, there's like something here that you know now. There's an idea that you have, and now it's time to take action and make this happen. Take the steps towards making this part of your reality because it's like we believe in something, right? We believe in our dreams and you can think about something, visualize it enough to where it's such a strong, strong thought that you think of so much, so much, so much, that then it becomes a belief. And then when you believe it, this is a really wonderful thing, but then there's actions that need to be taken, right? To make something happen. And that's what this is talking about here. It's like, you know, if you've always wanted to write a book and you visualize yourself writing a book and you thought about this and you can't wait to write this book and, and you have the idea and you're so excited and now you have the time and spirits like just start writing it. And then you're like, well, you know, I don't have the whole book planned out or I don't know where to start. And it's like, well, you know, if you just start writing, it's just going to flow. It's just going to flow and you can fill in those details later and you can meet somebody along the way that helps you understand that information. There is something about just get it started. You know, getting in the flow here. Yeah, grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. You had the fool twice here. So this it's time for you to move forward and to go forward uh, for, on your dreams here and not let anybody uh, hold you back. Look, eagle spirit, spirit has your back. Yeah, that's right. Spirit has your back. Spirit's protecting you from these people that are trying to do this, trying to do that with your life. No. You know, spirit is not going to let that um, move forward here. So now is the time for love. Every day, what do you love to do? Do it. Every day, what do you love thinking about? Think about it. Just keep going. Keep going in that energy. It's going to build. It's going to grow somewhere. It's going to change your life. You have heron, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. 
Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Yeah. It's basically the whole reading there. <laughs> okay, let's see more about this person. I feel like this person that you're attracting is a person that's very patient. They're very, very patient. They think things through and they're very thoughtful. They're the kind of person that they're, they're going to notice things about you that you wouldn't even notice about yourself. They're going to, you know, they're going to see a person sitting alone, eating lunch, an older person. They're going to go sit with them, you know, and talk with them. You know, if they notice that their cashier is having a, a bad day, this, this person's going to try to, you know, um, lighten up their day you know when something happens and there is a problem this person is not going to let it ruin everything or blame it on you or something weird like that no this person is like all right how can we solve this to get back to having more fun it's just somebody here who wants to be on a team with you they want to be a part of your life and they want to build a life with you it's beautiful you have rebellion here so yeah there's people that are against this they're against you moving on they're against you finding your happiness here the spirit is like yeah you don't need to worry about those kinds of people you have manipulation here it's the beautiful card it's not a negative manipulation this is how you manipulate the energy within you to create worlds and that's what you're doing here you know that's what this represents is this particular star and of course you have the star twice right because this particular star and this is talking about you understanding this dream this dream here that it's time for you to create this reality so you're choosing to believe in this within you and going forward and seeing how opportunities present themselves the resources present themselves and how everything seems to flow and come together here so these people that are against you, they don't have the opportunity to because you're not paying it any mind. You're not paying it attention. You're doing, you're paying it attention less and less and less and less and less and less and less. And less. Okay. So you're learning how to create, co-create with the universe. You have enthusiasm. So this is a very enthusiastic person who's coming towards you here okay they always see the bright side they're like you know willing to do what they need to do to be happy in this life and to go out of their way to make sure other people are enjoying their life you know this person is somebody who you know they're gonna make sure everybody else is smiling around them as well okay wow yeah you have uh revenge and detachment here so for some of you this person or you you know or both of you it's like yeah maybe you did want revenge on people that were against you that were against you were against you um but you're learning how to just detach away from that not give that any of your attention and you're learning to go towards this vision what is the vision that you have for your life that's what you're going to go towards you know, it's like the best revenge is actually not revenge at all. It's just actually you living your dream life. <laughs> and you and this person, it's like the vision that you have for your life, the vision they have for their life, it lines up. It just flows together. And you have the love card. It says uh, affair, but it means, it means love. When you read the description of the card, it just means falling in love. So that's quite a journey here. Wow. So excited for you guys okay thanks you guys so much if you resonated with the video and you want to like or subscribe i would greatly appreciate it okay also i have a book it's called one light it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting so if you're interested the information is in the description